when you inscribe something inside of something, just just means you put a shape inside of a shape, okay? So um, here we have a ball inside of a um, uh, yeah, a sphere inside of a cylinder. Okay, and the radius of this is three, three something. We'll say three inches. Okay, when you're finding the volume between them, you just subtract one volume from another, all right? Now, going back to the steps we learned, you know, you, sometimes you have to find additional unknown things. This one's not too bad, though. In order to find the volume of a cylinder, you have to know its height, right? Well, when you inscribe something inside of something else, a lot of times they share the same dimensions, right? So if I go up here to the top of the cylinder, is that not also three inches because it's the radius of the sphere? It should be, right? Um, and if I go down, it'd be the same thing. What would that tell you about the height? Six. So now that you know that the height of the cylinder is six, and you already know its radius, it shares the same radius as the sphere, which would be three, you just find the volume of the cylinder and subtract the volume of the sphere. So we'll do the volume of the cylinder first. So the volume of the cylinder, I'll just say V sub C, V volume of cylinder, uh, would be uh, pi r squared h equals pi times 3 squared times the height, which would be 6. You may want to do that real quick. All right, so we'll round it to 169.65. That's cubic inches, but we won't really write the unit till the end. Now let's find the volume of the sphere. So we'll call it V sub S. All right. Volume of the sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So 4 thirds pi 3 cubed. Anybody want to do that? So we'll just say 1.1. One, 1. 1. Now this makes, your, his answer makes sense because if the, if the sphere is inside of the cylinder, you know the volume's got to be less, right? So in order to figure out, you know, the final answer, you just do the volume of the cube minus uh, the volume of the sphere. 56.5? B.55, right? Yeah. We'll just round it to the tenth. Oh. Yep. And what would the units be for that? Inches. It'd still be inches cubed because you're just finding the area. So what this does, see if I can show you, what we just found was basically the volume around the sphere that's inside of the, the cylinder. And that's how you do inscribed stuff. So... There are a couple more like that on here.